on yet another electoral journey. Uh, does the ground favor him? And uh, what does this mean for the opposition in the whole affair of elections? We'll also be looking at quite a number of other things that are affecting national politics. And this morning, uh, I'm joined by um, uh, Council Ivan Bowe, uh, a member of the opposition and uh, a political analyst. Good to have you. A very good morning. It's a pleasure to, ha uh, to, to be here this morning. Um, and I cannot wait to engage in this discussion. Well, very good. Uh, during the course of the show, we'll also be joined by uh, um, Council Joshua Biamazima, who was campaign agent for Isaac Atukunda. Uh, the running mate, or rather uh, the contender in the just concluded ULS election. We'll also be joined by uh, uh, Honorable Fred Mukasa Mbide, uh, a former IALA legislator and, uh, and, um, uh, and uh, council. Good to have you. And uh, well, you supported Isaac Semakade. You won by a landslide. What does this suggest? Uh, first and foremost, I want to congratulate uh, my brother and uh, the members of the Uganda Law Society for reclaiming their space. This election was historical because we have never had such a turnout. More than half of the members on the roll participated in the election. That shows that they see value and they want to, to, to have their voices heard. And, and to me, that is a, a win already for our Uganda Law Society. Uh, what happened on Saturday will go down in history of the Uganda Law Society. It's, it's built as a referendum against the state, against... Uh, is, isn't it overhyped, you think? No, it's not overhyped. And it was not a referendum on the state per se, but it was a referendum on whether the members, with the members, wanted to maintain the status quo or wanted a 360 degree turn. And it was very clear with, with, uh, with that we imagine that members wanted something different. I want to... Uh, perhaps uh, inform the general public that the Ugandan Law Society is a member-based organization. True. And member-based organization should look out for the interests of the members first and then cover the other interests, for example, national interests that are actually within the law. So, to me, we spoke loud and clear, and now the campaign has ended. We have a president. We have a council. I also do not but want... But you're not bending fences yet. Uh, when you, you listen to the inaugural speech of the president, he, he still sounded very vindictive towards Chiriowa Chuanuka, towards uh, the former president's specifically describing Ogundo as a nothing doer, a bunny boy? Well, we might differ in terms of the choice of the words, but we might agree on the principle. And this is, this is what I think at the end of the day, is that it takes two to tango. We know that clearly immediately after that, uh, after after that election, a group instantly, barely 10 minutes after, started organizing themselves to form a parallel body. Is this true? Yeah, yeah, it is true. They, uh, I hear they even have a WhatsApp group. Uh, what does that show you? That we went through a democratic process, we came up with a president and a council. It's not because we are not like a big man show eh? in Uganda Law Society, we have a council, of which the Attorney General, the Honorable Attorney General, 
is part of it by law. The governing council of uh, uh, Uganda Law Society. But the actions of some of my colleagues, one, uh, uh, clearly state that they do not believe in democratic processes, one, two, and uh, two is that they have not been gracious in laws, you know, and so usually even when leadership imposes those that have power to always reach out, but also those... Yeah, but you, 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 your team is not magnanimous. Your team is vindictive. No, 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 no. Me, I am not vindictive. No, 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 no. You're going by the tone of your president. You, you, you see, when you say a team, it means that it is more than one. You cannot uh, round us up and say we are vindictive. You might note that I, I do not mention the Honorable Attorney General's name, as some of my colleagues might. That does not mean that I don't have serious reservations about his role in terms of disabling Uganda Law Society. Mm. And these, these are not things we are saying now. We just say them differently, you know? We just bang the table in different proportions, but the aim and the principle remains that the Honorable Attorney General has been on the forefront of making sure he disables Uganda Law Society. And uh, I wrote an article some time back, months ago, as Alas Feb, speaking about his role in disabling. So Semakad is getting in there with that attitude. Uh, as Yet I said. The Attorney General is head of the bar. Do you appreciate that? Yes, we, 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 we do appreciate that. And still in the same realm, you will, you will find to it that even in another article, I said that there are serious issues. There are serious issues with the ULS Act. And in my view, in my humble opinion, that it is obsolete. And there is still a very a strong opinion about the, 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 the ULS that was authored by myself and published in the papers two years ago. And this was immediately after the election of um, uh, Mr. Bernard Owundo. And I warned that ULS must seek its relevance first to itself, to the members, and the country. So when you look at things, uh, the way of operation in the Ugandan Law Society, they are not things of today. Some of us have been longing for years for a radical change, for a radical bar. Has it come? I think we have it. I believe we have it. And people mistake the radical nature of lawyers. Our training, generally, is to challenge the status quo, challenge things. That is who we are as lawyers. Well, very interesting. Thank you very much. And, um, well, I'm joined by um, Council Joshua Biamazima, who was the lead campaigner for um, um, Isaac Akunda. Isaac came out and uh, acknowledged he had lost, congratulated Isaac Semakade, and wished him all the best. But later, in the aftermath, we gather you're forming a bar, a parallel bar association. How true is this? It's quite interesting, Mr. Simon. And uh, thank you for having me on this show and finding my comrade here. Uh, he makes quite uh, interesting points. But uh, I think the freedom of association is very clear in the Constitution. Mm. It is not uh, very oblivion it has, that it has not happened anywhere. It is possible for the members that feel their views will not be presented by a person that does not present the values and the core of the Uganda Law Society, maybe they could take that. Are you part of the divorcing members? I would have loved to be part of it. And I'm hoping it gains the momentum it deserves 
and it gets out there, maybe it could be a good idea, really. And you coming off as SOA losers? I think SOA losers in a democracy like the Uganda Law Society is far overreaching. And that is the very word that he's using. For a leader, really, to now start clustering people. You know when you ascend to leadership, you represent those that have supported you and those that haven't supported you. So that mentality of I won, you lost, really talks to the deep end of the kind of leadership. Okay, you failed to contend with the loss. Moreover, you're now walking away from a noble society that had the values or that has the values that you subscribe to. Simon, you, 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 you assert that we are walking away, but mm. uh, the movement, we are not saying that you are divorcing the Uganda Law Society. No. There are alternative views. You as a leader, you should be telling us that I can listen to you. So for those that feel at even the onset of his governance, he has spent only two days in office, but they feel he will not represent my views. I think that shouldn't be taken lightly. Okay, so what, what then is the fate of Uganda Law Society? Do you want to suggest that it's all doom and gloom? Firstly, I would suggest just looking at the character of the individual now at the helm of the, of the Uganda Law Society. He's not leading it upward. He will drive the Uganda Law Society into River Nile. That is for certain. Hmm? Because he will drive that society into River Nile. I can tell you for guarantee that yes, he's a good leader, he's a brilliant gentleman, but leadership requires more than courting and being in court. It goes for far beyond strategic litigation. It goes far beyond public litigation. Okay, what, what, what explains your reservations? Ab initio. One, my reservations ab initio, number one is the character. Okay? It goes to the core of leadership. Number two is the approach of doing things, okay? Yes, uh, Mr. Ivan here says it is an opportunity to bang the tables, but what makes him think that you will be banging people's tables? Yes, they are paid by the taxpayer. Do you think you're going to walk into the office of the Attorney General and bang his table? Do you think you're going to walk into the office of the Chief Justice and bang his table? Ask him, he was at Makere as a girl president, how many of those did he bang before he was ousted as president? It should also, let us preach what we have seen working. Before he right? was ousted. He knows it. Who was ousted? He knows it. No, he knows it. Before we go into that conversation, maybe you should also inquire. For those that are proponating for the banging of tables, how many of those have banged the actual tables? So that rhetoric could work, all right, to garner for you an election. But does it respond and answer to the questions? Now, as an individual, my biggest dissatisfaction and disappointment in a leader of a Mr. Isaac Semakadi, you were a person, you were there in Munyonyo, you had his victory speech. Tell me really, why would you as a leader, you've ascended to power, and your first statement is to ridicule the former president, seated right in front of you, heckling in a room full of your supporters. It just demonstrates inefficiency and knowledge of leadership in the person that has ascended into power. Well, uh, uh, how much do we need to contend with the weirdness of Semakadi? Uh, I, I think uh, to a greater level of, uh, of appreciation of things, tolerance is very important. Mm. And it does not mean that if you demanding tolerance from Semakade, uh, Ms., uh, our president, that you, you should be intolerant. Who is being intolerant? In so, so when people, when they declare the results, and in the first meeting they have is to form an association, that, is, that speaks a lot about, uh, about them uh, uh, graciously losing. So the other thing is, he has talked about his speech. I will implore my brother, to go and listen to that speech again. It's, by the way, I believe it's one of the most coded speech ever. Yeah, but there are quite a number of distasteful things. Uh, uh, why, why would you ridicule the past president uh, uh, yes, if, uh, for starters? 
I want, to, I, I want you to be very cautious when you, you're referring to the relationship between Mr. Semakade and, uh, and, uh, Bernard. And, and Bernard. I want to tell you that I am one of those that didn't support Bernard in the previous election. I congratulated him publicly. Mr. Semakade, when we were at uh, uh, Imperial, uh, Imperial Botanical Gardens Hotel, two years ago, supported wholeheartedly Bernard. And we went off very seriously. He was a member, a core member of the team. And those two had set their own targets and with the, with the entire team that supported Mr. Wundo. We were opposed to it. We lost. I supported uh, uh, my learned Damn. sister. Uh, 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 Chibuka. And when we lost, we congratulated, uh, we congratulated uh, uh, Mr. Wundo. We warned. Some of us warned publicly, it's public knowledge, that if the society does not prioritize on the interests of the members and protection of the members, yeah, we are not short of disruptive tools. So I want us to give context to that and know that those two were in the same camp. Whatsoever they had agreed on is their business. Mm -hmm. Whether they were frustrated members, that is also true. And that reflects to today. That there were also reports that Mr. Mr. Bernard, the sitting president, was actively involved in making sure that the election is manipulated. There were allegations. Seriously? No, 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 no. No, no, I want, you, you spoke, I listened, and I'm telling you. Okay, what, you'll come in, you'll come in. Yes, um. and, 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 and I want to tell you that it is not right to just say things without giving them context. So, there was already bad blood during the electoral process. Would I have handled it? Does, does it really uh, make sense do, for do, you to continue hounding the person who's been at the helm of the society for four years, actually? No, no, two. Two, two years, two years, two, two years to be precise. Yeah. Two years. I would, me personally, I would have handled it differently. Perhaps I would still hit at him, but in a different tone. I would use a different tone. So, so, so you find it unpleasant? So Do you? That, w that is not my place to say uh, on determining what, how Mr. Semaka de delivers him, his message. But I want to focus, I don't want to focus on that one, two min uh, one or 30 seconds and leave the most important things about access to justice. About access to justice, protection of the members, expanding the, the law society to, to serve. No, but first impressions count. First impressions count, don't they? How would or why would the president sound spiteful on day one? I would, I, I, I would also ask in the same realm, why would the people want to establish an, a, a parallel organization two minutes after the, the declaration of the results? Do two wrongs make, uh, make right? No. Do we Joshua. need to get to a higher standard? C C Council yes. Joshua, would you rather kill the baby now that you've lost? No, we wouldn't. I think using the wisdom uh, of King Solomon himself, he never killed the baby, right? Yeah. He gave it to the most loving of those. But Semakade is coming off as a backing dog. Senior Council, would you? For correction, Senior Council is not on the day you are elected. All right? You need to serve the term and complete it. All right? That is coming off and you're titling him as senior counsel. Man may be impeached next week. He won't mm -hmm. get that title, right? So is, it, is it anything on your cards? All, all cards are on the table, right? All cards are on the table, right? You're bitter. But, 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 bitter. but, but, but you see, but you see, <laughs> but you see, Simon, Simon. You're, you're coming off bitterly already. <laughs> no, we have to. We have to. That's why we need to check government, all right? We cannot be seated. It would be very disingenuous of us 
to simply sit and say, okay, you can lead us and take us wherever you want. Simon says a, a, a very bitter allegation on the past president that he had hopes of manipulating an election. Really? I was part and parcel of that election. I saw everything that went down. There were loopholes that one would leverage on to manipulate that election. But no one did. Okay? Even with allegations that uh, you hired some mercenaries to come and vote. But, but uh, the, the voter that, that are... Officials from the Attorney General's chambers um, and several other government officials were paid for to participate in the election, but you still lost. Now, now you see, Simon, eh? You had a weak candidate. For, for a leader, no, for a leader mm. that feels that people in government parastatals, people in the Attorney General, do not qualify to be uh, voters on that, on, on that day, would be very dishonest. You go and ask him, he's a sitting president, how much does he have in the coffers now because of payment of those people? He doesn't see forward. As a leader, you need to forecast and see okay. to what advantage. What, what, what's your take on the allegations that you had to pay state attorneys, you had to pay a team from the attorney's chambers? Simon, if we are to use the matrix, mm. how many do you think came and voted for Isaac? Or oh, they betrayed you? They didn't. You because, paid for them and they betrayed you. You see, it was a secret ballot, all right? If they were paid for, all right, they are members of the Uganda Law Society. The act is very clear. All right? Who is an eligible voter? Do, do we need to probe that allegation, though? I do not think, because it is a weak link. It is a weak link. That is a person, really, who doesn't even feel that they won on merit. And you see, there is a tendency with people like them. Because they win an election, that is when it is free and fair. Had it been otherwise, that they didn't win this election, they would say it was manipulated. There is a very interesting equation here. A bitter winner and a bitter loser. What does it speak about the just concluded election? For the betterment of the Uganda Law Society, really I think for those people that have ascended into power, they need to get down and listen to the minorities, not the majority. The majority will agree with you. The majority is spoke. But the ma yes, now in governance and leadership, it should go far beyond majority and minority. You need to listen to those voices that are saying no. We do no, not but the, the voices are parting ways already. They have not even given him audience. Be because he disappointed on first day in office. You were there. No, there was premeditation of a divorce. No, no, no. The divorce did not start immediately when he was being sworn in. No. It is after he spitted out. He was given an, op an opportunity donning the Uganda Law Society attire and instruments of power. That is when he used that opportunity to rebuke the sitting, the outgoing president, that is unacceptable. There's also a sense that you fear his broom. He's coming with radical changes. He claims he's coming with a 360 degree turnaround of the law society. When have uh, barking dogs beaten? Do they? <laughs> I think he's a, he's a barking dog, right? To how much will he bite? I think he's taking in more than he can actually kill. While he has been in all these things of his, you see, what is interesting about even his people, they do agree that yes, maybe his methodology may not work for us, but he is the test of the leadership we want. And I said earlier that for every president that gets into the power should really examine why is there a cartel of members that are saying the Uganda Law Society is not reaching them. He's saying, okay, we go for access to justice and what? But these, yes, are primary roles, but the Uganda Law Society does more than activism, does more than access to justice. You know why he is not in tandem with in-house lawyers? Because access to justice, yes, it is their business. Strategic litigation is their business. But that is not where they are. That is not what they do. So we want a president that really looks far beyond, okay, self-gratification. Yes, he has been in yeah, activism. But he had a message that boarded way beyond self-gratification. The message boarded pretty well with thousands of lawyers. No wonder the turn-up was huge in his support. You see... You it see, was a landslide. You see, Simon, eh? the, there is a common denominator with all the supporters. I think they simply have a grudge with the Attorney General. And that should come off, all right? No, no, no. He said it. No, 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 no just no. a minute. He said it. And they are saying that, no, 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 the Attorney General has been an excess in this government. But do we think 
the president of Uganda Law Society, is most poised to defeat the powers that are enshrined with the Attorney General. No, I do not think so. So they have some sense of discontentment, all right, in this government. Actually, Semakade is running for presidency. It's not for Uganda Law Society. Mm -hmm. Because he's, Semakade, his ideals, decentralization. You can ask Bowie, what is decentralization? What is decolonization? What is digitization? So you want to say there is more to his victory than the assertion that it is for Uganda Law Society? That is without a doubt. Uh, uh, so it's politics at play? Uh, it's politics uh, at play. So, so, so I, I, I want one. So to, it's opposition uh, versus government? Uh, you see, that dog won't hurt. No little bite. You see, we, I am seated here with my learned brother, very disingenuous. Him are choosing uh, the Attorney General, uh, him are choosing Sema, uh, 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 Mr. Semakade, Council Semakade, of going after the Attorney General and the ex-president in the manner he went at them. Fair enough. The same individual is here on national TV calling the same person a barking dog. Derogatory to that effect. And, okay, even if we are to say, let us consider seniority, you know, this guy is a decorum but guy. He, but he chose that tag. Uh, the uh, dog, uh, the bark, you, the you, dog. You, you, you see, uh, even if we chose decorum, mm. even if we, of which that was one of their running, uh, <laughs> their running points, that is not decorum. Cyber, you, uh, no, you no, see, no, you no, see. You see you'll come in, you'll come in. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see Kazuse Makade is your senior colleague. And he's senior to all of us, and I'm your senior colleague. <laughs> so we should be in position, even at the times when we are at the fence, to exercise what we preach. The other thing that I find quite interesting is that for you to determine a person is not going to work when you've not given them a chance. I think that is very unfair. I also think that the assumption that Mr. Semakade has no experience whatsoever or his ideals are not based on facts or deep jurisprudential anchors is also wrong. So I want to say that Mr. Semakade actually has been in leadership before. And the test to me, the test of a good president is a president who challenges us members to do our role as a society. As we, as we take a very short break, I just want to remind uh, Council Joshua that uh, going by the Advocates Senior Council Regulations 2018, Semakad is referred to as Senior Council. It reads, Section 4, Notwithstanding Regulation 3, an advocate who serves as the Attorney General or the President of the Uganda Law Society shall by virtue of the respective office be granted the rank of Senior Counsel and shall continue to be Senior Counsel after ceasing to be Attorney General or President of the Uganda Law Society respectively. Can we agree, Simon, on one thing? That at least Semakade senior counsel. Semakade, yes, he will become senior counsel when he, he is, is supposed senior to. counsel. I cannot call him senior counsel at this Why? point, all right? He does not serve that respect. He doesn't. No, he's the president. Do you recognize him as the president? Legally. He was and legitimately elected. He was, he was legitimately elected. That we can agree, all right? Mm -hmm. But on how we title him, that cannot be on me, all right? He needs to work for that. Can you be a gracious lawyer? I am and being gracious. And recognize Semakade as senior counsel. You see, and the president, is Semakade the president of Uganda Law Society? You see, Simon, you're making it come off as if uh, we are bitter people, right? Yes, you are. But me as an individual, I think we acknowledge, right? He ascended to power. He's there. He's right? the president. And he is president. And that is not going and away. And you're a member of the Uganda Law Society. For now. Me, 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 yes, miss, miss, for now. Yes, you are yes. a member of the Uganda yes. Society. Mr. Yes. Yes. Uh, for now, but, but, but this is something. So, Mr. Uh, Simon. But, but, okay, let's take a very short break and return shortly. Good morning. <laughs>